Nine people dead tonight after police say a gunman opened fire inside a prominent South Carolina church. It was these surveillance photos that helped bring a quick end to the manhunt for this suspect. Police arresting Dylan Roof earlier today during a traffic stop. They say he opened fire inside the historic Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, killing nine. The Justice Department has begun a hate crime investigation. President Obama speaking on the incident today, touching on a change he's been pushing for, more gun control. We don't have all the facts, but we do know that once again, innocent people were killed in part because someone who wanted to inflict harm had no trouble getting their hands on a gun. This mass shooting resonating with millions across the country, including one man from right here in western New York who knew two of the victims. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson sitting down with him today. As a community and congregation in Charleston mourned the loss of nine worshipers, nearly a thousand miles away is a pastor grieving the loss of his extended church family. It gives you great apprehension to think that you can't be safe in church. Reverend Richard Stenhouse is the pastor of Bethel AME located on Michigan Avenue. The news, which came as a shock to Stenhouse, quickly turned to sorrow after learning the identities of the victims. Unbelief basically, that someone would be in church doing Bible study and someone would shoot them. Reverend Sinhouse says Emmanuel's pastor, Reverend Clementa Pickney, and Reverend Daniel Simmons were both well-known and active members of the community. They were both very fine gentlemen, loved the Lord, were respected by their peers, were loved by their congregation. A congregation that, like many AME or African Methodist Episcopal churches, has stood as a pillar in the community. For Reverend Stenhouse, hearing the church was the target of a hate crime brings to light many of the nation's unresolved racial issues. It is something that we all need to come to grips with and pray about and ask God to give us strength that we could navigate and deal with this situation. He is hoping the situation can serve as a catalyst for conversation about race and racial inequality. For now, Reverend Stenhouse says he will continue to pray for the families, for Charleston, and for change. And at 7 o'clock, Reverend Stenhouse will be joined by members of other um, local AME churches for a service at Bethel AME. 7 Eyewitness News will be there. We will continue to update you on this developing story. Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.